HobbyLand.com. We are doing 2017 Tops On Demand set number one, Star Wars. May the 4th edition. May the 4th be with you. Uh, it's just a personal box. We don't do a lot of these. They only made 1,254 of these boxes. Crazy. This is a personal break for Dan Harris. So appreciate it, Dan. Thanks for giving this a shot. Uh, a lot of great stuff in here. If you look at that, if you look at our item description right there. So here is the case. So what we're going to have to, I think that there are loose boxes. So we're going to have to open this up. Boss man has to get the invoice out of here too. There it is right on top. Packing peanuts? No, they use bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Good. Good job. There you go, tops. Good job. There we go. All the other guys using packing peanuts. It drives us bonkers. Oh, oh they put them. Oh, I see. Pack, how'd they pack them? I think they might have packed them special for us, Joe. They're tiny little boxes here. Yeah. We have to number all of these? Well, we have to, yeah. All right. I got stickers, so. Yeah, actually, that would help out a lot. And we just put a sticker across it, the seal, and then we'll number them. What to do is I'll number the stickers and get them ahead. Of it. Well, I didn't realize this box. So we'll get all these out of here. Uh, after this NT baseball, there is no more NT baseball. We can just printed those numbers. Yeah, it's okay though. <laughs> just use the one through whatever on the spreadsheet and then not too late. Because you have, you have to put the seal on it. All right. No more? <laughs> Look across where you're going to open it, I guess. And then you want to All right, so there you go. So now we are putting our fancy steel seals on this. I just want to do three, four, yeah, yeah, yeah. stack them, kind of, so I can find them when I, when, after I randomize them. Five. Right here. Six. Seven. Eight. Um, there's going to be, no, the only Supreme we have left will be, actually, here's the thing with Supreme football, is that the, the pick your team comes from Master Case, and the next two are from two eight box inners that came loose to us. So, I guess, I'm not sure how we're going to proceed with that, because I think basically whatever fills first... We'll just keep going on that. So yeah, so technically there are two more, but I don't know if it's going to be a random team or a picker team. Most likely picker teams. Uh, this is Star Wars. John B. This is uh, 2017 Tops On Demand, set number one, Star Wars. Auto in every box. So there's an, apparently an auto in every box. We're going to go nuts when they see this. And Dan Harris, you can fast forward. If you're re-watching this, Dan Harris, you can you can fast forward through this part. This is the boring part. But this is just for uh, transparency, obviously. And we want to make sure we got the right amount of boxes, too. 
How many did we order? What's on the invoice? 50. 50, 50. oh, okay. Yeah, Mothra was saying, what, 40 years ago today, the first one was released? Mm -hmm. New Hope? Man, it's come I'm too young. It's come a long way. <laughs> Believe that? I don't think anybody, none of the, none of the guys on Star Wars, like George Lucas, did not expect it to watch some of the documentaries on, on, on A New Hope. It's pretty amazing how they even put all that together. Yeah, he didn't think it was going to be. He didn't think one. it was going to be anything. Yeah, everybody else who was in it was just like, okay, all the like Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, Mark Hamill, all of them were just like, we just goofed around. They, they weren't. They were just pretty much acting to all these weird things. They didn't know what special effects were were going to be in there, and so they're they're just goofing off, running around the set. George Lucas just didn't, didn't think it would be anything. Probably went over budget. Um, the special effects department didn't have anything set until like, like a month before they were the movie was supposed to release, which is in film production world is very, it's extremely close, you know. But ended up being probably one of the biggest movie franchise, if not the biggest movie franchise, out there in the world. A lot of people said that. Um, that what was especially confusing for them was not confusing, but what especially made the movie great, if you think about it, is the soundtrack. The score by John Williams was a huge thing. Because before, when they were just watching dailies, uh, which is what they call, like when you are shooting a movie, what they call dailies is you take the what you shot that day and you send it back to the studio so the executives can look at them and or whatever directors can look at them. If you're originally watching, they were just like, oh, there's no uh, 50 on the nose. Um, if you were watching, they were just like, oh, okay, uh, this looks cool, I guess, you know? But when the, when all the special effects came in together, all the the music, John Williams' score puts it, came together, that's what really gave it that epic sort of quality. It all just all came together. All right, there we go. So we got everything stickered, labeled 1 through 50. So we're going to go to uh, random.org, use the random number generator, and generate a number between 1 and 50, which is 7. So we're going to do box 7 for Dan Harris. So you pull a monster, you can probably pull more than one. Just boxes. right there. In this stack. Oh, God. All right. There it is. Box seven right here. Found it. And let's get this back. I'll try that was box nine right there. Okay. So box seven from the random.org random number generator. There it is. Labeled seven. Good luck, Dan. I have, I have no idea what to expect. I have not, I have not seen this. Okay, so they put them in a case for you already. That's awfully nice. A little foam thing. All right, so let's see what we got. So now hold on, what, what did the what did the description say? A chance for random base parallels, silver, which is out of 10, gold, one of ones, and a chance for random autograph parallels, 10 and one. And a 17 autograph uh, checklist right there. All right, so let's see what we got. Is that the auto already? There it is. Caroline Blackistan as Mon Mothma. She's the one that said many Bothans will have died trying to bring this information. She was also in um, Rogue One as well. That's cool. Nice, that's pretty cool. And that's a complete set. Yeah, and the, okay, so this is a complete set as well. Nice. And here's just a, the, a look on the back. There you go. Nice. And that's it. Dan Harris. There you go. This is your autograph. 
Mon Mothma. Many Bothans. Died. That was in a Return of the Jedi thing. All right, and that's it, folks. Uh, well, we got 49 more of these, so if you want to go for it, check it out, jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks very much, everyone. This is Joe. We'll Star Wars with you next time. Bye-bye.